Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. So this angry Karen attacks a group of Spanish-speaking construction workers because she thinks they are illegal and they are taking the American jobs. Take a look at this. Green card. Green card, a few moments later I want to see your damn green card I did not try to throw him off yeah but you um, did you see you did well, okay, I'm and I, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. You see, you're yes, going to... I, I'm going to get you in trouble. Well, go <laughs> ahead, <For> bastard. <laughs> I, I, for I don't know in what, ki what kind of medication you are. I'm not on any kind. You are like, you like drunk on something medication. I'm not drunk on but I promise you, I'm this is not the way that you... I'm tired of your f***ing coming over here and taking our jobs. Taking whose jobs? You're not doing that job, ma'am. Are you doing that job? Show me your green card. Are, are you doing that job? I asked for a green card. How? Is it? We we need a green card? Yes, you do. For what? You need a green card to be here? You need a you green need a, card to you need a you. you need a, a green card to be here? I let them, I will show, I will tell every member of this association that they're hiring illegal aliens to do trash jobs. I walk, I walk with you to tell them. Come on. Yes. Let's go. No. I'll go with you. Now I will call a meeting. <laughs> uh, she is living in 11 and 14. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Oh, Miss Karen. Eventually, she was confronted by the owner of the construction company. Take a listen to their conversation. It is my business. I pay four hundred seventy-five thousand dollars a month. This, not for that. That's not your unit. This is your unit. Well, let me tell you this. So, I will put it on. And you think you're going to hire illegal aliens to do our mediocre work? Look, I'm not even talking to you anymore. Go back in your house and just shut up. And don't, you don't shut up don't yourself go near them. because I already have a lawsuit out for you. Well, well good for I'm you. Arrested. Good for you. I'm, I'm about to call nine one one and get you arrested for almost. I did almost. You pushed him off the ladder. He's got I'm it. Sure not. Oh yeah, you, he's got it right make here. Make me a hero. Make me, make me one. Make you what? A hero, and I will for standing up for the right, for the rights of the United States of America citizens, which you have no choice. How do you know? And it doesn't matter. These guys work for me, and they are citizens, and that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> now get back in your house and don't go near them don't again. Don't you tell me what to do. Don't go near them again, you or I will call nine one one. Don't tell me where I have to do you go. Hear me? You hear me? Go ahead and call them. Okay. According to the owner of the construction company, he already reported the incident to National Networks. He is waiting to hear back from them. And I promise to keep you updated when I get any new updates. So this USPS worker refused to deliver a package to a customer's home because she has her car parked in her driveway which was allegedly hindering her from delivering the package. Do you think she did the right thing? Take a listen. No, you're telling me you don't want to deliver my packages if there's cars in my driveway. I need to be able to pull up and How am I seat. supposed to know when you're coming and not have cars in my driveway? Are you kidding me? Why she's at my window hollering at me? I hear her. 
because she was yelling at me. That's why I'm recording this I with my phone. I was yelling at you? Yes, you were. Really? You need to take that mail over to Calio because I am not dropping this. That's what you said. I said I'm not with taking an attitude. Mail because it don't belong to me. You need to put it back None in None of this mail you belongs to me. Out of that's because fine. They need to know but then the person that's who's fine. There. And I said, okay, fine. And then you started to tell me um, that you can't said, deliver. I can't, I can't pull up in the gate because there's a truck here. She told me I need to walk from the road. That's what she said. There is, there's room right there. There's room right there. You're telling me you can't drive right there. Watch out the way. So I can pull up. Go ahead. Look. So I got to back up, right? I got to back up, right? I don't know. You don't know. You see, your truck is right here. Okay, then so it's me you can't drive in up. the cul-de-sac and turn around? No, I'm supposed to be able to pull up in your gate properly. I'm posting this on the internet. I can't wait to put this. I am. Look, this is this is my driveway, people. Look, look, this is my driveway. You're on my property. Look, you're on my property, and you're telling me you can't get into my driveway. Really? She has plenty of room to get into that driveway. Why is she making it difficult? I don't get it. And you're telling me you're not going to deliver my package? She didn't deliver my package. And it's coffee for my coffee shop. That's great. This USPS carrier acted unprofessionally. But that's my opinion. I might be wrong. She should have done as much as she could to deliver the package to the customer. She was an embarrassment to the whole establishment. Unbelievable. Do you think this Frontier Airline employee is just doing his job or not? Watch this. Then come tell liar. us you're busy. How did I know? We I don't know what's going on. Just We're communicate. Liar. Communicate with your employees. Okay, hey. Okay, if, if, if somebody comes out and says, hey, we're busy, we'll be. Who's coming out? This isn't even my job. I'm in operation. All good, all good. Any any frontier employee could come tell us. Any frontier employee. It is so stressful working at the airport. I cannot imagine myself doing their job. So please, if you're a customer, try to be nice to those employees. Okay? Thank you. You're gonna see this one. I mean, it's embarrassing for a grown man to be acting like this. Take a look. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you can leave. You can leave. You can leave. Then turn around and get out. Send this on social media. Do what you gotta do. You're 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 being recorded too. Okay. Okay. You can leave. You can leave. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. You can leave. You know what? This will show up more. Okay. Yeah. Let the owner of this. I will. Let the owner of this establishment. I will. Make up their own mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guarantee you won't have a duck one. Okay. You're comfortable with not having a duck one? I will have You're a duck. You're comfortable with not having employment? I will have You're a comfortable with not having financial ability? You stupid? Cool. You stupid? Cool. You can leave. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will be reporting this to the individuals that want to You can leave. You can leave. What are we recording? What are we recording? What are we recording? I'm recording you calling me a bitch. You're so a you can You're I'm a kid. You're a you can leave. You're, You're a grown adult. What are you doing here? What are working, you doing here? Working. Working. I'm like you right now. Yeah, you can leave. Did you get your goddamn done by your parents? You need to be 18 to be. I am 18. Oh, then you're not a kid. Then you're not a kid, huh? To you, yeah. You're a Get out. Then you're not a Get out. Do you know how stupid you are right now? This is going on my Facebook. Man, I just hope this guy posted his video on Facebook so that his friends and his family can see how dumb he is. Ridiculous. This woman walks up to a guy who was sitting in his parked car, minding his own business. She proceeded to ask him what he was doing in her neighborhood at around 7.30 a.m. in the morning. You will not believe this. She also told him that she was thinking of calling the cops on him. Take a listen. Hi, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. You've been sitting here since 7.30. Is there something wrong? No. Is there anything we can do for you? I'm working. You're working? Yes. Uber? I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say, but I'm working. Okay. Are you diapers? What are you? Because it's 7.30 in the morning you've been sitting here? I'm in a public street. about calling the cops, that's why. Am I in a public street? Well, I was just saying, we weren't really I know, concerned. but I'm asking you, am I in a public street? Well, you're concerning all the neighbors, that's why I'm, I'm But am I in a public street, though, right? It doesn't matter. If you're concerning the neighbors, we're all wondering why you're standing What's there. more important, someone's freedom to be in a public street? Did you see me commit breaking the law? That's all I'm going to ask. Did you see me breaking the law? I just asked if you were okay. That's all I asked. No, you said you're thinking about calling the cops because neighbors are concerned. That's not all you asked. That's what you asked also. No, so we, did you we see keep, all of our neighbors keep tabs on what's going on. And when and we see fine. a suspicious car that's sitting fine. here, we all are concerned, sir. That's fine. That's fine. I'm, 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 not, disputing, I'm not disputing that. Else. I'm not disputing that, okay? Okay. But while observing me, right, did you observe me breaking the law? I didn't say you were breaking the law. No, could, I could, never said that. You're I mean, assuming I'm saying that. I'm not assuming. I'm asking you a question. Did you observe me personally entering private property? Did you even observe me exiting my car? I didn't say car? anything. All I asked is if you were okay. Okay, that's all I asked. Are you going to call the cops? <laughs> the next day. A female officer shows up at the scene to confront the driver. Take a listen to their conversation. Yeah, what do you know about me? <laughs> Tell me. Tell a few things. Can you just anyway, repeat your name and badge number, sorry? Excuse me? Can you just repeat your name and badge number? No, is that a one? What, this? Yeah. yeah, I always record cops. I mean, it's my First Amendment right, right? But you should let the person know they're being recorded. No, First okay, Amendment. Okay, let's go. Y-A-L-E-T-S-K-O. Okay. 4447. Okay. Philadelphia Police Department, Major Crimes Unit. Sure, how can I help you? Oh, well, you were here yesterday. A yeah. Chief was here yesterday. Yeah. Everything okay? Everything's okay. This is a street that we public street, right? We take care of. I get it. I get it. But okay. a public street, regardless, right? Right. Anyone can park here from any part of the country, right? Sir, I understand. No, sir, that's what I make sure we, we understand that. We got burglaries that. around here. Well, and am I suspected of committing? Am I suspected of committing a burglary? I'm just asking. Was, I'm, just, I'm telling you. I get it. But I mean, that's the general line police officers always okay. say there was so burglaries I'm, here, but I'm am I suspected? Your insurance company mm -hmm. uh, watching for something, fraud or whatnot. I wouldn't be able to impact. say. Exactly. I wouldn't be able to say, but I have. I do have a purpose here. Okay. Okay? And the purpose is not illegal. Okay? I understand that, but as, as a citizen, mm -hmm. take the police officer out of it. I have a right to know. What's going on in my no, neighborhood? You, you don't have a right to know what's going on, sure but you can come like and a, ask me a question. Like the, the, the public would ask me uh -huh. the same thing. You're you're a public employee. You're employed by the public, so you have to answer those questions. I am the public. I don't. Okay. That's what you call a Fourth Amendment right, right? I'm just being respectful and telling you exactly what it is. Right. Well, it's you know you got some neighbors that are a little unnerved that's about fine. it, so it is what it is. Until I until I commit something illegal, that's okay. all they can do. Worry. I'm not doing anything illegal. I haven't done anything illegal yesterday. I'm not doing anything illegal today. Okay. Correct? Well, your Let... buddy with the Jeep, with the FOP tags, mm -hmm. it's kind of like sticks out like a suit. No, I know she, I know, I know she does. You know, but she's right. retired police officer, so. Right. Yeah, I mean, right, well, she, she knows you know. what she does, I mean, yeah. You want a coffee or something? Um, you good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate this conversation right. because. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just, you know. You got catalytic converters being stolen around here. Yeah, but until it's stolen, I understand, it, it but is what still, it is. 
eyes. No, no, that's I, I don't get you wrong. You know watch, I mean? keep watching, do what you gotta do. But I mean, if somebody was at your beautiful home, uh, you'd want, you know. I just take pictures of the car, but I don't call the cops until I, something happens, until I see something. I, am, so well, I, I know, here. I know, I know. Right there. Oh, you live there? Okay, right yeah. There with the gray foundation. So, yeah, but I don't normally approach them until I see them do something wrong. But I right. get where you're coming from. You have every right. right to approach me, talk to me. And this is cardio, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. No issues at all. Okay. So, well, if you need anything, I'm, I'm over there. And, uh, mm, you know. I, I get you, man. Okay. Yeah, but we do have a purpose here, though. Okay. So, And it's to save it's this easy. state a lot of money, okay? I'm sorry? It saves this state a lot of money. Well, this, this state with insurance okay. is insane. Exactly. Fraud, fraud is Absolutely. abundant out here. All right? So, so, if they're committing fraud, insurance fraud, yes. get them. That's right. So, that's what we're doing. You know what I mean? Correct. So, all right. So does this officer have the right to ask the gentleman who was sitting in his car, minding his own business, without doing anything, without committing any crime, what is going on? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You are going to see this. So this Lyft driver tried to kick out a mother and her baby in a 20 degree weather just because she placed her paper towel on his front seat. Listen to the argument. So you're canceling my ride because I put paper towels on your front seat. Yeah. You're going to drop me and my babies off in the cold because I put paper yeah. towels on the front seat. I paid for these seats. When I ordered the lift, I paid for four seats. It's paper towels. What is wrong with you? You're talking about you're not a delivery? You're my ride. I paid for this. Be careful. Slowly, okay? Don't tell me be careful. You're talking about you're going to cancel my ride and kick me and my child out of the car because I put paper towels on your front seat? I paid for you to pick me up and come here and bring me back to my house. Anyway, I will help you. Un uh, you're not helping me do anything. I paid for this. You're ridiculous. I paid for this. Because Nothing because of the baby. I paid for four seats. You can't tell me what I can and can't put on them seats. I'm right there. It's paper towels. I don't care. I paid for the seats. What are you talking about? About you're not a delivery driver. What are you talking about, bro? Are you sick in your head? I'm like, what? Now that was uncalled for. What do you mean by, are you sick in the head? All because he told you he didn't want you to put your paper towel on his front seat. Am I the only one that was thinking this while watching the clip? Why didn't they put the paper towel in the trunk? Why in the front seat? Let me know if you were thinking the same thing in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip of this Karen wrongfully accusing a black man of breaking into her car and stealing her cards. This is unbelievable. Take a look at this drama. Why would she think somebody needs to break into your car? Why would somebody be trying to break into your car? Break into your car and steal your ID. You stupid. Don't, don't, hey, just don't, don't scratch my car. Don't scratch my car. Why y'all ain't call the police? Why you ain't call the cops? Okay. This, this is a, a talk show for you to be. Why are you calling, ma'am? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking? Don't nobody. Who are you talking to? I don't care. I don't care. You don't. Bye. You don't know me. I don't care. I don't care. And you are what? Not. I don't care. I don't care. What you talking? That's nice. You don't even know me. Out my face. Who are you talking to? Get out my face. I don't care. Get out my face. You don't know who I am. Please take your mother because I was just saying nothing to her, sir. Who are you? Who are you? Do you know? Do you hear me? You hear my accent? I don't give a out of here. You got me up, ma'am. I don't care. I don't care. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Yeah, remember that. A typical Karen who claims is not a talk show for the other lady to be recording, but then she goes ahead to record. Unbelievable. A black man breaking her car. Oh, wow. f you lady. Where I don't care. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. You talk.
talking to the wrong person. Why you look like freaking in your car? I pay the rent. That's not so because you black. That's crazy. crazy. Because you black. That's wild. Have you guys damaged my car? Nobody Please, damages nobody anybody car, car, ma'am. You not even American. That's the sad part. And you not American. I'm American. I'm American. American. You no, American. I'm American. No, you. I'm American. Yes. I'm American. I'm American. I'm American. I don't care. I don't care. That's the sad part about what? I am American and proud. I'm not. You are American. Get your finger out my face. You are. I don't care. Who's the illegal immigrant? I'm an illegal, I'm an illegal immigrant. <laughs> You're funny. Get out of here. I don't care, ma'am. I don't steal. I don't steal. And that don't matter. So call the cops. Call the cops. That don't matter. That don't matter. Call the cops. That's what you're supposed to do. Call the cops because I just got here. Illegal immigrants. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Because she's a retarded lady. Yeah, because that's crazy. Yeah, because you're bugging. You bugging. And you being right. You're the biggest racist. The biggest racist. Yeah. You on camera. Yeah. So move. That's your house? That's nice. Where's the cops at? Where's the cops at? Ma'am, you want to move? You got to move. Because I'm tired of you white people acting like y'all scared somebody. Get the out of here. You got me up. Ma'am. Ma'am, there's cameras here and everything. There's cameras everywhere. There's a camera right here. There's a camera right here. There's a camera right here. A camera right here. Yep. Yeah, and nobody's gonna do nothing to you. I don't care. Time. Don't talk to me no more, cause you pissing yeah, me the f off. Yeah, you pissing me off. Don't talk to me no more. Cause what you just said was racist. I don't care. I don't give a f You think I care? Back up, you are. Just get the f here. Cause if you come over here, I'ma f you up. Cause you don't even understand what I got going on. So leave me the f no, oh, ma'am. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Because I don't have time. I don't give a f what you just said. I don't care. She in my face. Her finger in my face. And I got it on camera. I don't give a f Anybody breaking your car? Anybody breaking your car? Man. So I'm ready to f her up right now. Cause I'm putting that finger in my face, y'all. I'm not about to keep playing I with these racist f people. What are you crazy? Oh, I ain't even about to call Mr. Reed no more, man. Cause this lady right here ain't gonna let off of me. And then why y'all in front of my dude? Right. Stu. She's about somebody bring Y'all left these. right child. You can call the police from my right feet. Yeah, here. just forget about it. Um, come inside. Chris, go get Tracy. I'm gonna just leave my phone right here. She's not even from here. Not the accent, stupid. Man. She's jealous that you have that together. Call the cops. On a Saturday, man. But I ain't gonna call this dude, man. She mad that you black and you got your together. Fuck her, bro. I got, I got all of that on camera. Everything she said. Uh, dirty up with them. What, talking about somebody bringing her car or something? Wait, she probably lose her own damn car. Yeah, who wanna steal? Cause that's the case, they still, if they bring your car, your window and stuff would've been messed up. 
This Karen was so lucky that she didn't get a beat down from those people that fateful day. Because why would she walk up to that man and accuse him of breaking into her car and stealing her cards? When Karen should have called the cops and have the cops come investigate and let them do their job. But no, a Karen would do what a Karen would do. And that is walk up to some random person and accuse them of something that they didn't do. Unbelievable. Finally, on this episode of Ultimate Public Entertainment and Karen Shenanigans. We've got a Karen neighbor doing exactly what she knows best, which is harassing a next door neighbor. Take a look at this. Call the cops. Call the. Go, just call the police if you're not having a good day. Do not make excuses. Do not make excuses. Excuse? No, I'm not making an excuse. If you got a problem. You are. You are. You are. You are. Calm yourself down. I am. I am. I am. I am. Call the police. If you're having a problem, give them a call. If you are having a big problem, call the police. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Go into your house and be quiet, Karen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all.